Hey there everybody! Not quite sure what I'm going to go with for the name of this channel since I have to start a new one for Let's Plays, but let's play some Demon Souls and actually put this PS5 of mine to use. Yep, so go in mail. Uh, player's name. Since I plan to play the whole game by itself, I'll just go with Solo or something. Class, I love the look of the Fluted Knight. Uh, Hunter, give me a bow. Oh, I like the tattoo he's got going on. Uh, priest, I do like the idea of a mace. And they do come with heals. Might use that. Uh, magician, I don't want to go for any magic because I'm not a heretic. I was somewhere between Temple Knight and Priest. Hmm. Because they have the same shield, too. You know, I want to go with Temple Knight just because it has the... Yeah, because it has the coolest armor, in my, my opinion. Do -do -do. Yeah, I'm just going to take the ring. I'd rather have more items from the get-go. Uh, okay. Yeah, my female build. Uh, no, I'm going to go with the one I use for... I use to make the most like myself, and we'll just finalize it. King Alant the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world. And those who dared penetrate the deep fog penetrate. never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had roused the old one, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fissure to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. Pure of the twin fangs. Lizard. Yet the silent chief. I don't think I've ever noticed him before. Saint Urbane. Skurva the Wanderer. The sixth Saint Astria with her knight Gal Vinland. And Sage Freak the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Okay, um, I guess I will do Journey Nexus just to see if I can take out the, uh, the demon. And for anyone who has not seen the game before. Brave oh, yeah. soul who fears not death. I shall guide you to the fisher. Thank you. 
so that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Swamper. Okay, he, okay. Someone who looks exactly like me is, okay. All right, man. Okay, let's do this. So the idea I had for this playthrough is, I forget how slow the halberd is with one hand, is that not only just to have like one good weapon, but because I know this game very much depends on you kind of using is like each level have its own gimmick or way you should be doing it. I guess I want to take a note from Goblin Slayer and like pick up pick up weapons that are in the environment of each level and try to use them to beat it with. Such as when you get to stage two of the mines, they give you a pickaxe rather early on, which is effective against the uh, I can't remember what they're called, uh, slaves. I always like to call them the Bangas, like from uh, Final Fantasy XII. Anyway, so that's kind of the idea I got going on for this playthrough. I still have not yet to beat this game. I've gotten through about the first two levels of each stage. I only beat a, I think, 4 2 it was, because uh, somebody wanted help doing a trophy, which included doing it as an. Uh, compatriot and then he had me do the same but he was like a hundred levels higher than where I was so he kind of carried it while I goofed around and I always forget just how gorgeous this game looks settings game uh, let's play uh, no, let's put on cinematic. Now we can enjoy it. I made a little film grain. There we go. What oh, did it? I was like, the game immediately slowed down. Yeah, I want to look really good for YouTube. God knows how long it's going to take to actually upload a video. So, about a year or so ago, on my other channel, I was. Doing content, but uh, once I came back home from overseas, I just I do not have the the internet strength to upload videos. So what I'm gonna have to do is get these videos off my PS5 onto a USB. Actually, you know I'm gonna I'm sure the game looks well enough. Performance. Here we go. Yeah, that's much much better. I'm gonna like get them on a USB with my Chromebook and upload them as like a copy shop or something. So it's gonna be interesting, but I've been wanting to do gaming again. As uh, in life is safe right now, I got plenty of time during my days after work before bed, so I wanna get back into doing this content along with, uh, if you know me from it, Opsip and Friends, my Bionicle. Uh, I guess stop motion content? Not even sure what to call it. It's just kind of. It's my thing. If you know it, you know it. Oh, wait. Move. Move. Oh. Crunchy. Yeah. The halberd is probably. If it's anything like. Dark Souls 1, the Halberd was an insanely good weapon, but <clears throat> I'd prefer something a little bit faster. On my other file, was, I finally picked up the Yuji Katana, and I was enjoying that a lot. Bring out that bad boy, like plus 8 or something. Okay. <clears throat> I also was playing on fractured mode, so everything was left handed. And so I actually took a few month break between my original playthrough of the game and picking it back up for that guy. So much so that by the time he got to me and I picked up again, I wasn't bothered by being left-handed. Okay. I could have done that better. Oh, wait. What? Oh, I don't have enough magic as it is. I only get one. That was dumb. I am alive. 
Uh, are you giving him a tap? I have never managed to beat this guy. And it continues to be a fact. Alright. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's finish off my coffee. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Mended. Oh, there's the feet! Look at him! <laughs> That's his first sight. It holds together the northern land of Volataria. Thou canst not quit the Nexus, but the five archstones will guide thee to the outer lands. You have died, and the Nexus has imprisoned your soul. We cannot escape the Nexus. Okay. Hello, the press man. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls. Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero. <laughs> I don't know, man. Hunting for demons? Try one of the archstones. You mean try the uh, archstone? That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Politaria? I... Don't really have much other choice. I have to go there. All right, so you're the blacksmith. Can't do anything with you right now. I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the scourge came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here in this nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim. To the demons. If it's mocap, he's the actor's doing some amazing facial acting right there. You can actually see the emotion in At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you, brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. Okay. Yeah. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Oh, okay, they gave me the ring. Alright, we'll just go ahead and get into it. Let's see if I can speed run this level a little bit. Man, I always forget just how good this game looks. Because it's by, what, Blue Point Games? So the same people who did the Shadow of the Colossus remake? It's like, yeah. No shit, it looks amazing. Especially on. No current gen. Oh, hello. Wait, no. I got my Digimon here who's trying to bother me. Thank you for the grass. Okay. Yeah. Ow. So my main objective here is one, get the what, cling ring? That way I can get my 75% health. And get the broad sword. I want to use that for level. Uh -huh. What was that quick move of mine? Excuse me?
You know, I was doing that one on purpose, because I normally don't use those moves. I just go for the very basic, you know, R1, R1. <laughs> but, you know, forward attack. I don't know if you have to be locked on for a back attack. I guess there's only forward attack. Okay. Is that the, the running? Come into the hole. Come into the hole. Oh. Thank you. And thank you. Pablo Grass. But yeah, because of the fact that actually, if you have a PS5, because Sony sold it to me directly. You know, the Sony direct invite if you uh, subscribe to their but basically if you let them send you annoying emails about deals you have a chance to be invited to buy a ps5 from them but you know market value so no scalping and because i have it it's like i really should put the value if i want to make content i was thinking of maybe playing a you know, spooky game for halloween i'm like i have a ps5 i should play a ps5 exclusive I also have Returnal I could play if anyone was interested in that. Alright. It's stabbing time. Stop! Ooh, you're going to die. Nice try. I'll take that. That's what I need. Sorry, no, oh, I have to two-hand it, which... Okay, I would do it anyways. Okay, Talisman of God over there. Oh no, I'm, I'm heavy. I'm very heavy. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? Me too, man, me too. Alright, um... Mm. Well... But how? Okay, about to say, is it what? Alright, if we don't need a shield, or if we have the two hand, we don't need a, sh a shield. Ow. The foggetry really adds to the environment. Uh, I have. See, I'm not sure what all. Okay, I'm not going to. I'm not. There is a strong guy down there, which can be good for cheesing for some souls, but especially with no shield, I'm just going to die. Mmm. Make it hurt. Right, pop down here. One bow. I don't want a crossbow. But I enjoy acquiring new things. 
Because we live in the capitalistic hellscape. I'm just making my character hit the legs. It was me earlier at the gym, so it's only fair. So I think some people they don't enjoy the design of Demon Souls because there basically is like a right way to do everything since they laid out. Like here, they're giving you all the fire equipment. <clears throat> I guess, like, every boss has, like, its own gimmick, which I think is kind of cool, because then it's, like, I mean, it might be simple for some people, is that you kind of have to, like, figure it out. Yeah. Or you could just use magic like a heretic and be amazing. Or, like, a because, like, the last boss I saw was, was it, like, the blind champion or whatnot? It's like, no, if you... If you use the Thief Ring, it's way easier to get up on him and get away. At least from what I saw. But yeah, I don't mind the the gimmicks so much. Yeah, I think honestly, like, the bigger challenge is just getting to the boss. And then what's you do if you know the gimmick? Oh, no, just, just beat it and win. Especially when there are other bosses that are just like, oh, you have to get, you have to get good. Take the easy win when you can. Oh, thank you for your... That's the daughter, and I'm assuming this is the wife. Cool. What am I doing? I'm not sure what I was doing. Other than popping low grass. But yep, so I got the cling ring, so instead of only having 50% health.